So in this video, I'm going to talk about how everything was basically just ruined in my life. So basically, it started off with short toes. It was around the beginning of 2020. So this random person just decided to message me out of the blue and said he found me through my YouTube. He was actually a good person at the beginning. So I invited him to a call with my cousin. His name is Brandon. And later on into the year, probably like a good four months, the person that added me that found me through my Discord, his name is Shortos, and apparently he knew how to hack. So he hacked into Brandon's account, took his servers, and basically just ruined Brandon's life and made it a living hell. And to be totally honest, I actually really felt bad for the guy because he made him have many mental breakdowns throughout the whole time he did this. Well, I mean, I try to help him out. But I really don't know how to fight against a hacker. So after a while, Shortos just stopped doing this. I'm guessing he just got bored of it or something. So then he decided to just start harassing me for no reason. So when he started doing this, he just told me to ignore Brandon. And he told me to block him on all the stuff. And to stop messaging him. And even stop talking to him. Of course I said no because he's my cousin. I actually want to talk to him because he was a pretty cool guy. So since I didn't obey Shortos' orders, he made me play games with him or he just DDoSed me if I didn't want to. And one time I asked him why he is doing this to me and he said he's just doing this to make Brendan mad. And he also said this to Brendan and Brendan would say, why are you ruining my life and you're causing my family stress. Not once did Brendan take into consideration that I was being DDoSed and taken advantage of, but Brendan looked over the sense said that only him and his family was being affected by this, and by family, I mean his parents and just him. And he would say that he was the only one being harassed. Shortos would ask me if I noticed how Brendan only cares for himself, and at the time, I didn't really notice because Brendan just would tell me that he just wants to talk to me. And I would say to myself, that's why it's affecting him. But I was still confused because it had nothing to do with family in the first place. So I don't know why he brought up how it's ruining his family's life. Like, how would me getting DDoS affect them? Like, it doesn't make sense. But at the time, I just looked over it. And Shortos would ask this to Brendan. And I quote, why do you even care about what's happening to him? And Brendan would say... I need him to help me with my YouTube channel. I need him to help me with editing and making thumbnails. And then he would say he needs me to be in his videos and play games with him. Then every single time Shortos would be like, wow, Brandon, so you only use him for your own benefit. What a bad cousin. Back then I would say, no, he just wanted me to help him and he wasn't using me for anything. But now that I think about it, I kind of understand the way Shortos was thinking. And think about it. Not once did Brendan say anything that he's torturing me or he's doing anything to me that's ruining my life. He would just say that it's ruining his life. So if you just think about it, he's only upset because I can't help him or I can't play with him. I kind of just feel bad for myself because I feel like he was just using me and I just looked over it. I, I would never think once that my cousin would use me. I, I wouldn't use him either, but I don't know. Okay, let's get back on track. One day, Owen messaged Shortos because he thought that Shortos was Brendan for some reason. So they got onto the subject of Brendan and they figured out that, you know, Shortos wasn't Brendan. And they realized that they both didn't like Brendan. So Shortos told Owen if he was interested in taking part of these tricks with Brendan and how they would both harass him. And Owen was on board with it. And during all this, Owen would basically just pretend that he was on Brendan's side. Like, I remember Shortos had a plan to make Brendan have a mental breakdown, and he told if Owen wants to be there, and of course Owen said yes, he wants to see that, because he said it would be funny. And that exact same day was the day where Brendan uh, said that he was going to kill himself multiple times, and he had multiple mental breakdowns. Owen did tell Shortos he was taking it too far, but overall they just laughed about it. And keep in mind, the only reason why I know all this is because they would just invite me in there just to make me feel bad. And Shortos would threaten to DDoS me if I told Brendan about this, so I just never did. And one time when Shortos left for the bathroom, Owen told me that he was being a double spy for Brendan and Shortos. And he told me he was getting information on Short Toes to quote unquote give to Brendan so he could figure out where Short Toes lives. So here you could see that Owen was trying to part sides with Brendan and Short Toes. At first he was with Short Toes and then he wanted to get on Brendan's good side so he could make Brendan trust him and trust everything he was saying, I'm guessing. 
And in that same call when Shortos was gone, he also asked me if I was with Shortos. And I said, no, only reason I'm with him and not telling Brandon anything is because he will threaten to DDoS me. Then one day, not too long after this, I got on a call with Shortos and Brandon. And I don't remember if Owen was in there, but Brandon told me that he knows what me and Shortos were up to. And he told me that he knows me and Shortos were trolling him. I asked him, what does he mean when he said... I would, me and Shortos was trolling him. He said he knows everything was fake, like the DDoS attacks on me and the stealing Discord accounts and all the other stuff was me and Shortos. And this literally happened right after Shortos was making fun of Owen and talking about how Owen is bald. And then I'm guessing Owen didn't like Shortos anymore. And after that, he decided to lie to Brendan. And he said, like, all that stuff that me and Shortos was behind the whole ordeal. And as I said, I remember in the past, he would ask me if I was with Shortos and I said no. I was just obeying everything he said because he would DDoS me. And to this day, I still don't talk to Brendan because he ruined my relationship with him. But it's really not just Owen's fault, it's Brendan's fault too because he decided to just believe some random elementary school friend instead of his own cousin. I really, and I mean I really don't know how bad of a person you have to be to believe some other person, some random stranger, instead of your own relative. And if I was in his shoes, I'd literally believe the person that I'm related to, not just some random elementary school friend that I used to be with that didn't even like me in the first place, that would make fun of me. But no, I'd, I guess I would believe the friend instead of my own cousin. And now, I, I don't even know. I just don't even trust family anymore. I used to have a bunch of friends before this, guys. But then, I, I literally have no more friends anymore. I literally lock myself in my own room just because I'm too scared to go and make more friends. Because I'm too scared it's going to happen again. I wish this doesn't happen to you guys. Like, I like it sucks that it happened to me, but I don't wish this upon my worst enemy. This just sucks. Well, I mean, Shortos and I are on good terms now. He doesn't really talk to me much anymore. And after this, you know, after Shortos making me play games with him and DDoSing me if I didn't play with him, I kind of stopped liking games in general. So, like, now I don't even know what to do with my life because everything I've been doing prior to this involved games in some sort of way. So, the moral of the story, guys, is trust people, but don't put your whole trust in them, no matter how close they are, brother, like, cousin, even friend. Because you really can't trust people, guys. Like, if if they have some sort of proof, like, any sort of proof, like, e even if it's not real, they, they will turn against you, guys. Like, you know, what happened to me? Like, if you guys see, like, the red flags that i seen, like, the, the he used me part for this and that, guys, just, just cut, cut that whole relationship, cut that friendship off, and just don't do what I did, don't try to keep it. And guys, there was many parts that I left out out of this story, like a lot of sections I just cut off because I didn't want to talk to them because the video was going to get too long. But if you guys want to see those part two, then just tell me. So the game on screen that you guys currently see is in the description. If you guys want to play it, then just buy an old console and buy the game too with it. Or just get the emulated version on your PC and just plug in a controller. So yeah, guys, watch out for backstabbers. Peace out, bye.